guys to this yet exciting episode on the Limitless Podcast. I'm Paris Mazal, an engineer in the Catronics engineer. And I'm Konwan Mirenda, an electronics engineer here at Pacific Bill. Yeah, and I'm Muko, a best engineer at Pacific Bill. What do you say, the best engineer? What have you done about that? What have you done about that? What have you So in today's video, we'll dive into the topic. CBU, who says half-baked engineers. <laughs> anyway, yeah. CBU produces half-baked engineers. So, this is like whatever we have, it's our opinions and how we perceive things. But as it is known, the Mighty Copperbelt University it's known because of its quality of in the way it produces in terms of engineering students. Yeah. Like any other institution, it's not immune to criticism. So, guys, what's your take? about this topic we have for today. I remember uh, we had a meeting with a certain journalist from uh, Zambian Press. He actually talked about how Zambian engineers failed to operate a CNC machine. The accident made by electrical engineering, engineering guys. And you know, this thing has been going around saying Zambian engineers can do anything. And I believe it's basically because of the way academia is set up. There's no marriage between academia and industry. And most of the time, the industry that we are going to enter into when we graduate as, as, as engineers uh, is maintenance. So we maintain a lot of equipment and we do not produce. So all this claim of us not being uh, backed engineers, because we don't produce anything. How, be, so so how, how do you consider that claim? You know? Is saying from uh, your side, is it is it a claim that you'd be like, okay, yes, they are right or no? I think I think that for me it's, it's, it's self right, and I think it does to do more with uh, the, the way the academy is set up here. Uh, as he said, we are set up to be maintenance engineers, but if you look at uh, the level of equipment that you have here, they're not up to date with us in the industry. Yeah. So even if we go in the industry, we are, we are not familiar with those equipment. So you might say we are half-baked because we are, we are set up to be maintenance engineers, but if you look at the equipment we are training on, it's not that up to date with the, the equipment that's out there. So it kind of contributes to the perception <coughs> that uh, CB engineers, CB producers have baked engineers. Yeah. So that that aspect, people say that no engineers only do theory. I think CBU pretty teaches us a lot of things about theory. We do a lot of calculations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So does theory. that contribute to us being half baked? For them to claim that we are half baked engineers. Yeah, but the thing is, how how are we going to measure productivity in the work environment? It's about what you're doing, right? It's not about the theories or the equations that you do know. Most of the things we learn in school are necessary if we are going to produce new things. For example, we learn a lot, a lot of calculus if we want to generate new products. We're going to use those equations. But most of the time, we're not going to make anything from scratch. We are going to build on what other people are building, like the way the Chinese are doing their engineering. They are not making a new iPhone from scratch. They are copycatting whatever is on the market and they are producing things. So the thing is, we should be more practical because the equations are not being in use. So that is making us look as if we are incompetent because we are not in the right position to use those equations. So that is why they are saying we have paid. We are not practical. Yeah, I, I think even if you look at uh... I think the, the only way we can uh, try to get into that perception that CB is half baked engineers, I think as he said earlier, if, if we start making things, yes. that's how we can better uh, advance our skills or, be, or better our skills. Because yeah. if you look at programming, programming you can you can start the programming language for like uh, five years, but without actual hands-on experience on <coughs> uh, making a product or working on a project, you you won't know anything. But oh, oh, everything you're going to know will be theoretical. Yeah. Everything you're yeah. going to know will be theoretical. So I think uh, that that's what contributes uh, to to us being perceived as half baked engineers is that we, we, we don't make things. Yeah. Because from just the basic definition of an engineer, an engineer applies the mathematical theories we learn from class mm -hmm. to design to create the application. Yes. So you find that yes, we've learned the theory, but we don't finish the definition itself. Because we have to learn the theory, we have to understand and apply it to be tangible. 
Yeah. That's what we're talking about. So if I study and end there, I'm probably not an engineer. Because mm. I'm not defined, I'm not finished the definition yeah. of an engineer. You see? Mm. So we have to take that approach. Because a lot of people are, have this misconception that making stuff is for the guys who are doing diploma programs. Technicians. Technicians. Be like, ah, no, I'll be supervising. Yes, How can you supervise yes, something yes. you don't know? How? Is it possible? Yeah, like that? yeah. Yeah. So so basically as I said earlier, we are being trained, even at where we are coming from, our homes, they don't tell us to say, son, go to CBU, get good results. If you're going to start work, work, become but manager. manager. You become yes. a manager. Yes, why we work hard and become a manager. That is what we're it's, being told. It's like they're just, we are hardwired to work for people. Exactly. They don't exactly. inspire innovation, uh, not, not just CB in general, it's not just focus on CB, but as the uh, Zambian education system in general, they don't yeah. inspire innovation. Yeah. And but but you know, at some point, yeah, okay, we've been having these talks, no calendar. Yeah. There wasn't a right system that favored them to take the independence. They just took it upon themselves to start. Yeah. They had to fight. So even us, we don't expect the government to come and make good policies that will favor our situation. Yeah. As students, we have to think. So now, how do we find a solution to that? Because that's what engineering is about. Yeah. Finding solutions to problems. How do we do we get get rid of that perception that uh, see people just half baked engineers? Okay, what could be the reason why that is true? Let's highlight some reasons why yeah. that is true. I think one of the reasons is uh, 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 the reason they are saying we are we are half baked engineers. As I said earlier, we are not doing any practical work. So, because we are not being practical enough, we are seen as um, aspect engineers. Because, as we said, it's all stuck with the mentality. Things like, I'm going to be a manager. Everyone here thinks of themselves to say, I'm going to be a manager. No one is thinking of, I'm going to build the next Tesla. No one here is thinking of, I'm going to build the next uh, HP. No one is thinking, I'm going to build the next iPhone. So if we are able to, we don't to inspire innovation. Yes, we don't innovation. inspire innovation. See, yeah. see, we are going to be making things. All we know is becoming a manager of an yeah. existing company. And this, it's not maybe only CPU. This cutters across the, the, the education in the country. Yeah. Yeah. In the country, you know, at some level, the education system itself has got a role to play in this. Because yeah. with what they really make us, uh, students focus on. Because yeah. we need focus, yes, quite the right for engineers, we have to focus on those uh, calculations, you know. But in other countries, you find that they are doing an engineering program for four years. A year is just like practical stuff. Yeah. Yes, we can do theory stuff in four years. Four years is enough to do the calculations. Four years is even a lot for theory. Yeah. Uh -huh. We come in fifth year, we do practical just from the beginning to that's on the management side. But as students alone, we have the biggest role to yeah. play. Because everybody who started their rev uh, a revolution, we talk of Nelson Mandela, Kenneth Kaunda, these people had, didn't have a good environment for them to start that. Those guys as an individual. Yes, as an individual. So us as individuals, we have to, as students, we make projects, we push the agenda forward. When people in power see that, they'll find like, okay, I think this is the right route yeah. to take like that. Because we never expected here, no, they should just sit down and make those policies. It's hard to make policies. You know? I think, uh, I think to, to, how are we going to inspire uh, in innovation here? I think it's uh, to provide the voice to the voiceless. Or, yeah. Because if you talk to uh, a lot of engineers at CBU, there are so many people with well, changing ideas. Yes, but ideas. They don't have a voice, they don't have an outlet to showcase their ideas. So I think uh, it's it ca coming up with a platform, or rather coming up, coming up with a way to, to, to give uh, a platform to people on the platform. Yeah, talking about the platform, yeah. Yeah. the Tech Expo will be hosted. Yeah, yeah. On the 22nd of July, yeah. this is like the biggest, because, yeah. you know, every university is invited, like each and every student. Mm -hmm. So by that platform, students can come with projects. Because companies, different people, possible investors, who can sponsor like that, you know? Mm -hmm. People have an understanding what it takes to make a project. Mm -hmm. So such kind of platforms, we need more of such. I think that's, that will also help to do away the notion now of us being maintenance engineers yeah. and become innovators. Come on, guys. We need a lot of complicated stuff in class. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so depressing. You go in the industry, they ask you to, 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 to fix a motor. 
But you lend the Not even of... fixing a motor and tying a motor and tying and using it and tying it back. That's all. That's all. And you go home. Imagine you I'm an engineer. Feels like you wasted five years of your life. Five years of servicing your motor, guys. Oh. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, it's... I, I... I, I think we as as engineers are supposed to start having this kind of an entrepreneurship kind of mindset to say let's make products and take them to the marketplace. So as we said on earlier, say the tech expo is going to be a great opportunity to take your project there and say this is what I'm thinking about. Get things on the market. People criticize your product to say hey, it's not fitting people's demands. We work on them. We make them. Uh, have better aesthetics so that people can buy those products. The only way we are going to break all this kind of misconception if we have a kind of entrepreneurship mindset, make products, take them on the market, and we start manufacturing. But uh, how do you have that in the entrepreneurship <coughs> mindset? Because as engineers, some of us are more uh, on, on building things, but not not actually knowing how to go to market them, how going yeah. to showcase them. So. How do you have that integration mindset? So should uh, like user, uh, yeah. the way user does is like you have a major engineering yes, yes. mind in that in, uh, in business yeah, 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 course. Yeah, yeah. So I think that helps. That helps more in, uh, in helping you have an integration or be more. Of yeah, but but way. if even if that is not the case, if mm -hmm. like if because that will take the management to look into such kind of okay. things, of which it will take a while. Mm -hmm. As students, the way we are, okay, yeah. actually start implementing. Yes. Mentorship um, uh, programs, programs yeah. that they are all over the internet. I mean, mm -hmm. this time around, this chat GPT, it can literally yeah. say anything you want to know. Yeah. You can take that interest yourself to know such kind of stuff. Entrepreneurship, read a lot of books, yeah. watch a lot of documentaries, watch podcasts, yeah. the limitless mm -hmm. podcasts, where you get information. Okay. Then the other thing is, uh, as I said, entrepreneurship is not a solo journey. We want to do it a business alone. I have to realize what I'm good at. You get the point? Mm -hmm. There are some people, as you said, me, I'm not good at uh, uh, marketing, managing, but I'm good at creating things, right? Surround yourself with people you know you can trust and work with. Form small uh, clicks. We, we as engineers already work in teams. So we can identify each other. This one is good with public speaking, he's a CEO. This one is good with programming, to be a programmer. This one is good with electrical, you handle our electrical. This one is good with mechanical. And you build a product. If you are building, let's say, a stove, for example, you're going to have need electrical engineers, you're going to need mechanical engineers, and you're also going to need marketers to market those things. So entrepreneurship shouldn't be necessary thing. as a course. Yes, yeah, a yeah, course yeah. or saying I should do it alone. No, yeah. you can do it as a team. No, but if, if you should talk, if you, if you talk about that, but how how do you generate uh, interest in in uh, let's say an engineer having an integration? <coughs> I, I think no, I think I think not about you only generate interest in it if it's more like it because it becomes mandatory. No, do you know, know it's not about it's generating it. interest in inter entrepreneurship. There are people who already have that interest. You when choosing engineering, it's not that we need to create an interest in you. You already have that interest. Yeah. It's just to find the right people. Speak more. Yeah, but for me, I just came. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the interest yeah. developed, you see? Yeah. The interest, you know, in as much as you came here without an interest, but still, the people you meet, I'm like, mm, these yeah. guys can do this. Yeah. You started thinking in that way. Also, the interest yourself developed. Yeah. So instead of you, okay, for example, you're not interested in doing that in Russia. Quite mm -hmm. right. You don't have to force yourself. Look for somebody who knows in that relationship. Go to the school of business. You'll be like, oi, I'm a programmer. I have this application. I'm trying to build this. Mm -hmm. Help me how to how do we go about this? Find people you can trust as it's good. Yeah. Create a group. We develop as a group. Everybody, you talk of um the name. Man, Man, Saka 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 yes. This yes. guy's yes. they, they, they quote people. Same job, never even use him to program. He never it's about, about, about engineering. It's about the group. That's how we develop yes. like that. But Africans. So we want, we want sorry to use alone. that. It's alone like yeah. that. You think we will we'll be successful when we work alone? Yeah, but my question is, how, how do you get rid of that mindset? Let's say people are too, uh, indi uh, going to individualistic uh, individuals. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. How, how, how that do mindset you, won't be changed. Like won't be changed. Right? Right? But they once, right? no, 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 no. Once a few start a movement, mm -hmm. everybody join the movement. Yes. These guys who fought for independence, political independence, yes. didn't have to change whatsoever. They started with a small section. Yes. Then everybody was like, oh, is this what they can do? Mm -hmm. Ah, let me join. Ah, let me join. Mm -hmm. That's how you create the movement. Mm -hmm. 
it just takes a few group of individuals to create that. Be like, okay, so these guys have managed to get a, um, an investor mm -hmm. as their students. They yeah. have managed to buy a car from the projects they make as students. Yes. Everybody who has eyes, everyone who has eyes will see and they will form something like that. They will mm -hmm. like, okay, there is power in working as a group. And like individuals, if we work as a group, I, I can balance my schoolwork in my practical life, in yes. my, 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 my projects. Because you only have like a small piece to play to on play. a bigger thing. On a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. well, basically, I think from the summer we can, we can be like, it's all about us as individuals mm -hmm. to start our own How we change the perception? How we change so as as we have the as as So the only way we can change such kind of perception is it's us ourselves. It begins mm -hmm. with ourselves as we have talked on earlier. Find people who are like-minded. Find a team or a group you can work with. And don't always uh, depend on leaders. No, this, the president, Chan Chan is going to do this. It's us who are supposed to tell those guys the policies they're supposed to make. We shouldn't go to politicians asking for handouts. We should go there with solutions. We just need <coughs> to be pushed. Yes. So I think that's yeah, yeah. what I think. Yeah, that's what yeah, I think for me, as, as much, I don't know if I keep on going back to the same point, in as much as we talk about. Uh, you as an individual, cause, but I think uh, the education system also contributes to to us being mm -hmm. rather half baked engineers. Because there are scenarios, uh, there are scenarios here that there's so much pressure on schools that rather than you actually knowing uh, knowing about uh, what you've been built, you end up uh, what's this term that you use here? Gunning just yeah, yeah. for the sake of passing, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. pressure has been put on you. Past this. So at the end of the day, you end up memorizing us rather than actually knowing yeah, it. Yeah, true. It's, it's mm -hmm. the pressure that they, it's the pressure that's applied on us. Uh, you heard it, you've heard right. Till next time. <laughs>